What's up, everybody? Choose here. 6.25 p.m. Saturday evening. Uh, I have for you McDonald's. Uh, a Big Mac. I did ask for uh, extra Big Mac sauce, and I threw some ketchup on mine. Um, this is a just a quarter pounder with cheese. I asked for mayo on it, and they have mayo on it. This is our Lay's. Sour cream and onion. And some fries, medium fries. And um, I just got them out of the microwave. They're okay. A little better than the last time. And I got Arizona Fruit Punch right here. And a little Diet 7 Up because I'm on a diet. Okay. Um, first of all, if you're new to the channel and you uh, watching it for the first time or you landed on this video or one of my other recent videos, welcome. Um, I ask you to please like subscribe comment um i'm gonna talk about comments um in a community post i'm going to do a poll and um i hope that you guys will participate in that poll those of you who have access to the community tab on youtube um make sure you're hitting the notification bell so that you can get notified when i upload a video or upload now um not only my snack chats but chow with shoes um, which I want to thank Luke B. Grevin once again for, you know, pulling out the stops. And he had a busy, hectic work schedule, had to stay later than he intended, and he still was able to come through. Uh, so thank you, Luke, and uh, everyone else for coming through and, you know, popping in the chat and contributing. And uh, I'm hearing that, you know, people have fun watching. So I hope to continue. I've been talking to a couple people. Hopefully I can get a guest on uh, this week. Uh, I know that someone has interest uh, next Sunday, so I hope that that works out, too. It's going to be kind of exciting, so let's eat. We will start with the Quarter Pounder with cheese, because I've had a taste for a Quarter Pounder with cheese for a little while now. And it's falling. I'm totally falling. My fries have no ketchup on them because sometimes that's all you need. But McDonald's fries, I'm sorry, you know, no shade McDonald's, but their fries are the worst if you don't have them fresh. These aren't as bad as the other ones I had. And you know, I'm gonna go a bit further and suggest that it wasn't the fact that I microwaved these fries I wonder if they are made in a certain kind of oil that renders the texture, uh, that affects the texture. Now, of course, we all know it ain't good for us, no way. So I don't want no snarky bitch in the comments talking about, oh, you saw this and you saw that. And Oh, you should be eating that. It's too much this. It's too much that. You no, know, I know that. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Seriously. I had a good day at work, but I am on four solid hours of sleep. 
for some reason, I got up at 12.30 after sleeping for maybe two or three hours, and once again, I had one of those nights where I couldn't go back to sleep. I don't know why I couldn't shut my mind off. I thought only women were like that, can't turn their minds off. Am I a woman? There's the obligatory, did you hear it? Did you hear it? The obligatory Chicago siren. Always wanting to join in my video. I roll. Once again, Lay's sour cream and onion. Just an excuse to get some bad crinkling in there. Let's have some brunch. I was talking with a couple of people at work and I realized how how much we say things like or want to say like what did you do last night? How'd you spend the weekend or whatever? Um there are some people that have been, you know, getting together and going out and whatnot. I'm just... I feel two ways. I want to hang out with my squad. But when I do that, because um, we're supposed to be doing that soon, I'm going to be masked. Period. Um... And I feel like I would love to go out somewhere, to go someplace and just break up the monotony. But at the same time, I feel like it's just so risky. Mm. Mm -mm. Really quick. Today, is this, sorry about the mic, is this woman's 99th birthday. That woman would be my white grandmama. Um, no, my white mama. White mama sounds better. Uh, Betty White turned 99 today. The last living golden girl. I had to get that out of the way. And all my shirt says is says picture it. Quarantine twenty twenty. I don't want to get up because I'm just wearing boxer briefs. Because I honestly God, I'm gonna upload this video. I'm going to sit up, drink some water, watch a little TV when I'm going directly to bed. <clears throat> oh, this has extra sauce. You can see it already, can't you? This is going to be, it's going to be it right here. It's going to be a messy affair, you guys.
if by chance I've made you want a Big Mac at this point, and it's so late that you can't even get one, I really am sorry about that because I know what that feels like. If you're a content creator, as chances are you've done that to me in the past. You know what I love, though? Let me tell you what I love. I love when I've, like, eaten a meal like this, and then somebody else does a, a video featuring the same food. I love it. I don't want anything. <laughs> Just had it. You can't mess with me. <laughs> I was going to say something else. You can't do it. I'm already full, dog. Mm. Now, this, this Big Mac sauce is good. This is good. Luke and I were talking about the quality of Big Mac sauce lately. Luke, if you're watching, this one is pretty good. I still believe there's something foul going on, but oh, but sometimes they do like put too much. I don't like when it slides. I like a lot of it on there, but not when it slides. Not when it uh, affects. It, not when it compromises the integrity of the burger. Hmm. Whatever this sauce is, I wish I had a, well, it's Big Mac sauce, but I wish I had a big vat of it so I could just throw it on several sandwiches. It's really good. The way Big Mac sauce is supposed to taste. Rainbow Roam subscribers, I'm not forgotten. I'll just be forgetting. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh because I know some of you guys are itching for, like, you know, gum chewing video and stuff like that. I know. I apologize. I bought gum for that purpose. I just. I really, it's in the back of my mind, but I do forget sometimes. But I hope that you guys can forgive me forgetting. Did I tell you guys I was watching Bridgerton? Who's watching Bridgerton? Um, no spoilers, please. I'm only on the second episode. But I would like to know what you think about it if you are watching it. I like that it's messy. There was one scene, though, And I'm not giving anything away. But there's a really hot duke on there. And they had a couple scenes where he's boxing with, I don't know if, if this is a friend or who the person is, um, but, you know, he's bare-chested. And I, the first thing I thought, because apparently 
you know, already people are talking about how hot this guy is and everything, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I'm already thinking this was a cheap ploy to just get him shirtless in a scene. That's the first thing I thought. I'm, I'm thinking, like, do, do those guys back in the, what would that have been? The 1800s? I don't know. Do they, do they, did they box? I know they did, you know, other kinds of sports, played other kinds of sports, but was boxing one of them? I, I feel like when I watch, when I've seen those particular scenes, that they're asking me to, what, what, is it, what do you call it, suspend belief or something like that? My one friend says, don't watch for accuracy. Watch for the Duke of Hastings ass or something like that, he said. (laughs) But I'm going to watch another episode tonight. Maybe two, depending. I'm looking at her time. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. I'll finish this up and then that'll be it. So I had a dream and that like when I at 3.30 in the morning when I decided to finally make myself, you know, fall asleep, it was so difficult, you guys. Now I know, you know, I had some, you know, ASMR going in my ears and I was trying so hard. Any other time I'd have been knocked out. But Here's what I notice about me. If the person that's, you know, in the video, if they're telling a story or telling stories and there's information, for some reason, I'm vested in it. Oh, you can't be, you know, it's the wrong time to be vested in. Let me look at my mouth and see if I'm looking. Okay. I don't want no sauce in my mouth because I'm looking at y'all here. But I could have unseen, unforeseen sauce going on. But it is not the right time when you have to be at work early. You don't want to be vested in any stories at like four in the morning. And that's exactly what was happening. And at some point I did just, uh, I had, I kept struggling to find the right thing to put me to sleep. That was horrible. I can't believe I went through that. But I had a dream between that 3.30 and 5.30 window that I was able to fall asleep. I had a dream that my co- one of my cousins had a party and some of his friends were at the party. And they were talking about me, they were talking about me, and they were talking about whatever it was I was wearing, and they were talking about, um, they were accusing me of being someone that I'm not. And in the dream, I told them off. I didn't yell, I didn't scream. I told them off in a calm manner. With such tact, basically told them to suck it. It was phenomenal.
I felt really good. About as good as I feel now that I'm fully satisfied and that this is over. Not that this is over. I could probably talk for you know, another hour, but who wants to hear me? Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I do appreciate it once again. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. Hope you like what you're seeing. And I will see, oh, you know, by the way, you guys might get a video tomorrow. The intent is to make chicken wings in the air fryer. That's the intent. We will see what kind of sleep I get tonight. So here's how you treat this. Don't be looking for the video tomorrow. Just know that in the back of your mind, it might happen.